Bon Appetit. And it's not because we fancy, because sometimes you have to call a thing by the right name so you can get the right thing coming out the other side. I cannot tell you how excited I am. We're gonna teach you the ultimate melted cheese bread. What are you doing, cowboy? I am doing mise en place. You need to keep up today. This is gonna be a program where you have to really keep up. We're using a whole lot of foreign words. And it's not because we fancy, because sometimes you have to call a thing by the right name so you can get the right thing coming out the other side. But this whole idea that we're doing today is still snowing, still raining, still lock up, lock down, lock in. Here's a story. It started off with a story. Where we grew up in South Africa, they are always giving married women some very good advice. They're saying, you have to make sure that your man is well serviced and well fed because you never know when he's out the door, there's some <laughs> waiting for him with a little bit of a cheese bread, a melted cheese bread on the other side. You, uh, we're gonna teach you the ultimate melted cheese bread. Uh, it's Le Croque Monsieur. It's nothing else than a French version of a melted cheese little bread. It's called Le Croque Monsieur because it's a crunchy bread. We're going to do it with a Mornay sauce and we're using, cowboy version, pumpernickel bread. Pumpernickel bread, which is baked by our Copper Eagle friends just across the road from HQ. Joanne, thank you for this, appreciate it. And with that, we're gonna use some good old Gouda cheese, corned beef, Monterey Jack cheese, which is gonna make our Bernays a Mornays. Minus two cast iron, outside on the Yoder flat top. We had to get Yoder in here because Yoder look after the cowboys, we look after Yoder. Three tablespoons of flour. You're gonna take three tablespoons of butter. And we first of all, just gonna melt the butter. First step is melt the butter, little bubbles in the butter. Then we're going to put our flour in so we can make what they call in homes a roux. Next thing we'll do is we'll work in some milk and just bring it to a boil. Here we go. Nice, 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 nice. And it is going to be delicious. Okay, see how nice it thickens up? A little bit of Monterey mozzarella, just a little bit of cheese. Look at this. Ha ha! Look at this, look at this. Right, we're gonna cool it down. Right, all the ingredients is ready. We got our Mornay, our corned beef, we've got some cheese, a little bit of melted butter, and we got our pumpernickel bread. Now we're layered. This is obviously the cowboy twist on the whole thing because in foams, we would be using... I think you just put the corned beef on first and sit it I, I, I See, that's why you're here. So you're already living in France, Cabo. I am already lost for words. You like that? Pumpernickel, you go. Finishing touches. Um, I need a spatula. Do you have a, a spatula? <laughs> This is the advertising part of the two cowboys making more croque monsieur, madame. Anyway, South African charcoal braai, yoder flat top, direct heat with cast iron. Let's get going. We want to do some cooking. Okay, get ready for the cow. This is a delicate movement. Where our fan. Look at that first. Just a little bit of food porn. Do the slow mo. There we go. What should I say? How's the crocky doing, you think? Do we check? Nope. So we got so many calls on that barbecue, what are we gonna do after this one? I don't know. What do you reckon? Bacon egg? <laughs> <laughs> That's how you make a the croque madame. Is you break an egg. Let me make sure if you it up, I've got the footage to back it. Go for it. Okay. Time to turn over. Yeah, flip it. Go fast. Oh, shoot. South Africa strikes again. I don't, I'm too scared. I don't want to turn it over. Don't do that, Casbreaky. That's not the way to do it. This is not the Crocmans here, the way it should be done. This we just the, misjudged ourselves completely this, with the South African version of this. The, the Crocmans here turned into the Crocmans up. <laughs> no, it is the crunchy Monsieur at the moment. Look, fans too hard, fires too too hard. Thank you, South Africa. No, that, that doesn't look good. It looks good. 
She looks good. This is how not to make how not to make a lacroix ones here. <laughs> it's not working. This is not how it should be done. It's there, but it's not there. Hang on, get a knife. Get it. This is there, but it's not. Can you see the crispy cheesy on top, cowboy? It's crispy, cowboy. This is yours. <laughs> I can't eat it. <laughs> this is the part where. They never show you in the food cooking videos is how do you re rescue a cowboy lacroc monsieur? <coughs> bon appetit! No, it's okay. <laughs> right, so the story we told you before was a very valid story where we said in South Africa there's a rule that says look after your man, he needs to be well serviced and well fed. If he's not, there'll be somebody waiting out there for him with a bit of a cheese bread to make sure that his needs are taken care of. And obviously, they should not look at the Cowboys cooking videos because that's not the sandwich they're gonna to use to do that. But I bet you it's good. So thanks for giving us a try. Clearly we're not in the Le Croc business. We need to go and work on this recipe. But I'm, I'm telling you, it's good. Come on, you, you wanna have a try? There, there you go, happy? No, sorry, I'm not doing this one. Come on, Cowboy. I don't like corned beef and it's even worse that you burned it. <laughs> Thank you. That's how you not make a croc monsieur. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to do this again. <laughs> Practice a bit. <laughs>